myself and I've had so much time to sit and think about myself and there she was like a double cherry pop yeah there she was like a disco super fly I smell sex and can it hear Who is that casting devious stares in my direction? Oh, this surely is a dream, yeah. Yeah, mama, this surely is a dream, dig it. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Wow, that was a totally long and unnecessary intro. Welcome to today's vlog. I don't need this. Oh, what a mess. So I was trying to discern the difference between a real egg and just egg. Turns out that I couldn't. No, but really, just egg, uh, mung bean protein is actually a pretty good source of plant-based protein. And of course, no cholesterol, you don't have the big price spikes. Uh, so, you know, canola oil, probably not the best for you, but uh, the other ingredients are mainly just flavoring and people look at ingredients lists and they discern uh, that a thing might be good or bad based on how many ingredients there are, but I'd say the ingredients on this are actually pretty solid. Uh, nothing to worry about too much, but of course people put the real egg, the regular egg, up on a pedestal uh, because it's just one ingredient. It seems so wholesome and good, but in reality it is a lot of cholesterol and it should be kind of expensive because of the true costs involved. What do you think about my breakfast, babe? Uh, I would say that's what, what's not to eat on the plant-based diet. Too not processed? That, that bad. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely healthier options out there. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had oatmeal, banana, and blueberries, and uh, a little bit of oat milk and peanut butter and all that good stuff. Flax meal, yeah, a little of cacao powder. And that happened hours ago, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you eat breakfast. A little bit towards lunchtime, but maybe today we can count it as brunch. You got up a little bit earlier than normal. Brunch, I love it. Bon appetit! Alright, we got a lot going on today. Some exciting stuff. <sighs> Special package delivery from Camelback. Sponsor. I wonder what it could be. Of goodies. Sick hat. Look at this. Leak proof cocktail shaker. Good lifestyle products. Camelback. Oh, a nice tumbler. Sandy and I love drinking coffee out of these since 1989. Old school, retro. Love the logo. Ooh, and they gave me some coffee. Love coffee. Old beans. Coffee's the lifeblood. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to say we got to do some babysitting today. Pacer, come. Pacer, come. Hey, Pacer. Good morning. Nice catch, Pacer. Pacer, want peanut butter? You do? All right, let's get it. Pacer, talk. A little louder. Ah, uh, that was too loud. A little loud. Pacer, talk. Good. Good talk. Good dog. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Pacer. Pacer's bored. Coach Sandy, you gotta do a lot of work today. I 
Enough. We gotta work and babysit. Pacer craves that love and attention. And you know what? She gets it, actually. You're gonna help us work, huh? Positivity coach. Pacer's the higher running positivity coach. Number one employee. Pacer? That's how Pacer helps us work. I love you too. I love you too, but I have to work. Pacer doesn't like you working on your laptop. I leave my messy desk for one minute, and this is what happens. Pacer makes it her cave. You gonna help me do some work? We'll take that as a no. <laughs> ah, got a little foot warmer at my desk here. Nice and toasty and soft. All right, I gotta try to film myself making lunch here with a couple different camera angles. Whoa, look at that, Pacer. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Alright, so for today, for making lunch, I'm gonna do a little croissant sandwich here. Uh oh, I dropped something, Pacer. What do you think, Pacer? Pacer was not a fan of the drone. All right, seriously, gotta make lunch now because Sandy and I are gonna go do some uphill laps at Monarch at the local ski resort. I'm gonna put some more cheese on there. Melt it up in the oven. Vegan cheese, that is. Nutritional yeast, iodine salt, need that iodine. My favorite, some mustard, Dijon, mm. and some greens. Oh, Pacer, that cheese did not melt very well. A little bit of Dijon. Put some bell peppers on there. Salt. Yeast, lettuce. Okay, good. There's my croissant sandwich. Mm mm mm. Bon appetit. Mmm. So oh, good. Mmm. That was delicious. All right, let's get dressed. We got to bundle up. It's gonna be cold up there. Putting on the Hoka Speed Goats Mid, Mid GTX, nice boot. All right, so we're going up to uh, Monarch. I'm driving here, vlogging. Got the trusty Hokas there. Uh, gosh, maybe we should pull over, babe. I can get a shot with a drone. It could follow us up the highway here. Sandy's bundling up. Uh, yeah, low visibility, high humidity, maybe 10 degrees out. That's in Fahrenheit, my friends. I'll put that in Celsius there. It's like negative eight, probably. Well, see what we could do a lap. Got the Chorus Verx 2 on. Good battery life, nice and durable. Great in cold conditions. Gotta put it in ski mode. Put my buff up, don't wanna get frostbite on my face. It's one of those days. All right, we're off. Uphilling. Nice day up. <laughs> Steep pitch. This is a blue run. So like 30 degrees maybe. Yeah, 25 degrees. Good workout uphill though. It's 
not a bluebird day up here. Yeah. A little windy, low visibility. We are at like almost 12,000 feet, so what is that over 4,000 meters? Yeah, to the top. At least we have on proper gear though. It's not like hiking up a 14 in the winter wearing a poncho or something crazy like that. All right, we've topped out. We have transitioned. Now it is time to go down. Oh, it is blustering. I don't know if the camera's gonna survive this. No, no. Oh, yeah. Doing at least part of a second lap here now that the resort's closed down. Really low visibility tonight. Tough wind off the divide on the top. Nice snow though, a couple inches of powder. And uh, yeah, gotta make sure the road doesn't close down though before we leave. So we'll turn around up here. Definitely getting in a good workout. It's a steep pitch. All right, done skiing a bit cold out there. Road conditions are deteriorating. Gotta keep eyes on the road here. Uh, but I'm gonna eat a bobo bar, or toaster bobo. And I've been drinking this coconut water as well. Gotta stay hydrated. So keep the eyes on the road, go slow. Tough conditions, but fun little ski, lap and a half of Sandy. Hey friends. Wildlife, oh, there's people coming. I'll probably have helmet hair. Anyway, time to make dinner. It's my turn to cook tonight. I'm gonna make a pesto pasta. Got all this basil, basil. Uh, I'm gonna chop up some veggies, grill that up. I'm gonna make my little almond cheese sauce. I say cheese because it's basically almonds soaked in water. Ground up in the blender with some spices, lemon juice. I'll slice up that onion. Maybe uh, get some little tomatoes on there. Good antioxidant. All right, so for the cheese sauce, we will soak some almonds a little bit. Add a little protein in there, the nuts. Then we'll make a pesto sauce with a little basil. Because pesto is pesto. Alright, let's chop up some veggies. Oh, that skin off. People are like onions, you gotta peel back all these layers to really get to the sweet part. Uh, well, sometimes onions make you cry too. Oh yeah, I know why I was filming myself cook. It's because I want to give you an update on some athletic stuff, since this is a running channel, running vlog. Some people have been asking me, Hey, Sage, do you have any races, activities planned for 2023? Uh, and you know, I've been hesitant to sign up for things. I have signed up for one race, which I'm not going to announce yet, but it's I have signed up for something. I've been looking at other stuff on my calendar, events and races. Uh, you know me, any service, any distance, but you know, I've had these health issues, obviously, with after the pulmonary embolism and then after uh, having to drop out at UTMB with breathing issues, chest pain, lung issues. Been doing a lot of extensive tests in Boulder, or not Boulder, going to specialists in Denver, actually, but all over Colorado uh, to try to get some answers. And there's been months and months of pretty extensive tests. I'll spare you the details, but... Uh, we're talking about like CT scans and, and more imaging tests, breathing tests, lung blood flow tests, all this stuff. And it's still kind of been a little up in the air. There's definitely, they found some, some things that are, have been a little concerning that warrant further tests, but we'll just leave it at that for now because there are still a lot of unknowns and it's been racking up a lot of medical costs. These are out of network, uh, out of my insurance network. Uh, Sandy and I don't have to most supportive health insurance plans, even though we pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for these catastrophic plans. It's hard to be self-employed in the U.S., I will tell you that. Um, but anyway, I digress there. Got to get some more tests done in the coming months before I could really feel like I'd be confident to say, okay, I could ramp up my training a lot and really get after it and go really hard and push really hard. Because health is wealth, and as I get older, I realize these things, and it's been a struggle. Um, you know, I was still working out those hip and back issues as well. Got some good positive tests uh, from that recently, but uh, you know, that's a struggle. But the lungs and overall health 
definitely a huge, huge thing. And I do want to do some events. I want to make some appearances. I'm going to be making some appearances for sure. But I want to push my body again. I want to ramp up the volume. I'm not sure how soon that could be or for how long that could be. But I'm going to keep trying and until I get more answers with these medical tests. It is up in the air and that's just the truth and I'm just updating you guys on that with running. But let's finish up this supper. Need the iodine, don't want to get a goiter. Also, of course, uh, maybe fry up some pine nuts there. Sandy likes these uh, zucchini noodles. Uh, zucchini, they spirals, I guess. We'll cook it in that, but I like regular noodles. I like the wheat, carb up. Uh, I'm all about the grains, so I'll cook that separately. Ready to fry up on the pan there. Uh, got lots of veggies, eat your rainbow. Look at that, babe, I'm cooking lots of veggies for dinner, healthy. And then got the pasta getting ready to make, uh, carb up. But definitely got some protein because of the all the almonds in here. And actually a lot of these things have protein, uh, different amino acid blends. But uh, yeah, gonna carb up with a lot of calories. Dinner's always my biggest meal. But as I was saying, you know, with the skiing, it is good cross training. When you're skiing uphill at high altitude, up steep uphills, Getting in a lot of blood flow, breathing, get the heart rate up, uh, work the muscles without so much impact. Of course, skiing is an injury risk, but it's something that Sandy and I have really enjoyed and embraced living out here in the mountains of Colorado in the winter, uh, learning to ski, still working on those downhill skills, but the uphill grind of skinning up the mountain uh, on trails that we run on in the summer on the Continental Divide, Colorado Trail area, it's, it's just a beautiful way to embrace nature and the super cold days that we do get at high altitude sometimes outside of Salida here. But uh, make sure to follow Sandy's uh, channel as well, Running Wild, uh, for updates with her also. And uh, yeah, gotta finish up dinner here. It's overflowing. Oh, I thought the wood would stop it. It didn't. veggies in my pasta here and then leave the rest here for Sandy. All right, the moment of truth here too. I'm not sure how this pesto sauce is gonna taste. Not too bad. I'm gonna put some olive oil on my noodles, but uh, yeah, not too bad for almonds. Just like so. Flip that up a bit. All right, so then for toppings, of course, we got some nutritional yeast and uh, some red pepper flakes. I'm gonna enjoy this ice cold one as well. This is delicious, really good one. You know what, I'm also gonna have a tortilla on the side because I like more carbs and more bread. All right, that's my first serving size. Of course, I'll have a tortilla on the side there too. Carb up. Interesting, it's quite green. All right, so bon appetit. Here's the finished product there. Uh, cheers. All right, so that's a wrap for today's vlog. Thank you so much to all the subscribers, Patreon supporters, liking, thumbs up, watching these videos still. We've got some more training talks coming your way. Also check out our running channel, Higher Running. That's a YouTube channel. We've got announcements on there as well as our website. Uh, for selling our online course, How to Coach Yourself. Also check out Sandy's channel, Running Wild. Uh, thank you so much to title sponsor Hoka. Keeping the dream alive, more race updates, and when I finalize my schedule, coming your way. So thank you again, hope you're doing well, and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.